All right guys, Guns of Liberty here. We're gonna go through the medical bag. I'm trying to get a nice close up view, that way I don't have to pull everything out and you guys can really see what's inside of the bag. If that's a little too close for you, I apologize. We're just trying to uh, give you the best view possible of what's inside this bag. Now, this is just a standard $30 bag from Walmart. Nothing special, it's not some $200 military surplus bag or something like that. This is just your SOG standard regular you know nothing to it kind of bag now i've tossed a ton of stuff in here and uh there's some things that may not even be medical oriented but honestly i i feel like i would want to have in a medical bag or if nothing else just as kind of a backup in case my other bags you know something i run out of gas for my little stove or something like that and i need to boil water um, boiling water obviously in a medical standpoint would be something that's really needed to clean your tools clean a knife sterilize equipment so I do have kind of like the the little folding stove with just your standard fuel cubes um, nothing special you see the price tag on there $3.99 I mean these things are not expensive roll of duct tape can never go wrong with duct tape God only knows what kind of situations you might get yourself into <coughs> excuse me Rubbing alcohol for cleaning and sterilizing. So that's just some of the stuff in the front pocket. Other pockets in the bag. Just check and make sure they're empty. <clears throat> Before going on. Now, the way that I organize this bag, I feel like is a great idea. I'm just checking these other pockets, make sure I'm not leaving anything out. I got a pair of tweezers in there, but that is definitely not the only pair all right so the majority of what's in this bag is right in this main compartment now there's a lot of stuff in here and to keep it kind of separated and organized and really just kind of in a in a different like bag per what it is you know i'm using these ziploc bags they stack really nice they fit side by side in the bag and when you tip the bag up on its end they just kind of lay on top of each other so you kind of stack them in here flat now, each bag has different stuff, like this is all ointments. Ignore the toothpaste, but mostly it is ointments. It's Neosporin, itch creams, triple antibiotics mostly, it's Vaseline, and then your burn creams, everything that you find in a first aid kit, the small little packets of creams, they're all going to be in there. So that way I know where they are. I know they're in that bag, I can go in there and I can find what I need really fast. These are tools. These are lighters for sterilization. These are tourniquets, um, exacto knives in as a replacement for like a uh, a scalpel. Sorry, mine went blank there for a second. Razors for removing hair from the area if you've got you know something serious going on. Now, just so you know, all this stuff is just store bought medical equipment. Obviously, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a paramedic. My sister is a paramedic, but I'm not legally allowed to have all the stuff that, you know, I guess technically she might be illegally allowed to have. Um, but I did the best I could with what I could purchase, what I could find. Um, big Ziploc bag just full of gauze pads and strips. More gauze, more medical tape. A whole box of vinyl gloves. More medical tape, more gauze. All of this stuff came right out of the package and right into the Ziploc bag to keep it as sterile as possible. Wet ones, Clorox wipes, um, Kleenex, medicine. Um, I believe most of this is going to be like tooth and some allergy medicine. Ibuprofen as well. There's just, you know, some random pills and medicine in here. There's a uh, tooth repair kit if you got a, like a crown that falls out when you're on the run from the Russians or whatever, whatever purpose you have for uh, bugging out with this big medical bag. Whole bag full of band-aids, a couple vitamins. Get so healthy on the, on the road. We got other things that, you know, are around the house that we use every day, like our multivitamin stuff. Hopefully we'll have time to throw in here. If not, you probably live without it. There are some vitamins in here, multivitamins as well. Um, some, uh, female medication, some Zycam for if you start to come down with something. Uh, my wife has a prescription that's in here that we keep in this bag. Um, baby powder for chafing. These are actually insulin needles. Um, they were 
given to me by a lady in our church and I keep them just in case, you know, somebody needs it. Um, obviously it's just the needle. I don't have any insulin or anything like that. So I'm not sure what the purpose would be and it might be just so that I can, you know, baste a squirrel, <laughs> but I've got them just in case they don't take up much space. I figured they were worth keeping. Um, in the front of the bag, Epsom salt, a soap bar holder. I've got a couple bars of soap floating around in here. Epsom salt. Q-tips, a glow stick just in case you don't have a headlamp or something for light. More wet ones. I think those things are awesome, especially when you've been in the woods and you haven't taken a shower in a while. They're, uh, you know, the next best thing to a sink. Parachute cord, plenty of it. There's a hundred feet of para parachute cord right there. Whether you're stringing up, you know, some kind of protective barrier, you know, making some kind of makeshift shelter as a hospital, who knows what you're doing, but there's plenty of paracord and the roll of duct tape. Insect repellent, we keep that kind of handy because it's one of the more needed things. Medicated poison ivy scrub, calamine lotion, solar care for sunburns, and finally, cortisone. 10 for your butt. Alright, so I've got a couple baby goods in here. I've got the snot sucker and I've got a pacifier that's been, you know, saran wrapped to kind of keep it clean. Tons of antiseptic towelettes and um, prep pads. Get into this bag, we got a little bit of Irish Spring soap, some lotions, and uh, I believe more triple antibiotic and glucose so that if you do have a diabetic, at least you've got some glucose there that you can give them. I pulled that out of the first aid kit, I believe. Um, baby powder, and I can, oh, laxative, that's what that was, laxative. There's the bars of soap, you know, I got the reusable container, if I open one of these up, I can put it back in here so at least it doesn't get all messed up, and I can close my bag back up and keep on going. Some baby oil, ladies, you know what these are, I do have a wife, so I do keep that stuff, obviously. Or, <clears throat> excuse me, um, also they are really good for uh, soaping up blood. Not just from the normal spot. Anyway, um, <laughs> Lidoderm patches, um, these are prescription for back pain and uh, we keep some of them in there. And then I think I'm back to where I started. Mostly just gauze, gauze pads. Made the full circle. This is everything that's in there. I fully, I just really suggest this to anybody, anybody that's um, prepper minded, that really just wants to have everything kind of in one spot and ready to go at a moment's notice. I keep this bag in a closet all the time. This is not our normal daily multivitamins. This is stuff that like, you know, you get bug bites, you get sunburn, you get stuff like that. Yeah, okay, you can't just go in the medicine cabinet, you have to go in the medical bag. Big whoop de doo it's not that bad, it's not that hard. Sometimes my wife gets on me a little bit about it, but honestly, the fact that this bag is always ready, even if it's unzipped, she left it unzipped or something, all I gotta do is zip it back up and head out the door. This thing is ready to go. I keep as many medications as I can in here. Everything that we've got, prescriptions, anything like that, which we're, we're healthy people, we don't really have problems. Um, little pain here and there and that's it. But this is something that really I suggest to anyone who is prepper minded. If, if you really want to have that get up and go, you know, kind of setup where you can grab your bug out bag, you can grab a medical bag that's going to protect you, your family, and anybody you run across in case they get hurt. You're going to find somebody that's not prepared. Somebody that didn't bring what they need to bring. You know, think about everybody. Think I, I think about my friend who has a baby, and I've got baby stuff in there. I don't have a child. You know, I'm not worried about my child. I'm worried about his child. And I do that because I care about the people who I'm around, who I'm with, and who will be with me in a situation where this has to leave the house. Um, this also goes with us on long trips, you know, we go on a big hiking trip or something like that We might not take it up the side of the mountain, but we'll at least put it in the car because This bag Might be the difference between somebody bleeding to death, you know on the side of the mountain and Us actually, you know getting them to a hospital in time So we, we do take this with us every once in a while But mostly we've just got everything that we would normally put in the medicine cabinet and under the counter and in 1500 drawers all around the house we do our very best to keep it in one place. 
that is readily ac accessible and we can just grab it and run. So I hope I didn't drag this video out too long. I hope you guys learned something. Um, you know, obviously this is my idea of how to prep and everybody has a different idea. But if you don't mind, hit that subscribe button, hit like, and check out my other videos. i got a lot of stuff going on, uh, reviews on guns, reviews on fishing kayaks. I mean, just everything that I can kind of get out there to you, any information that I can give you, I want to do. And uh, just hit that subscribe button, and I've got more on the way. Thanks for watching. This has been Guns of Liberty. Have a great day.